Good morning, guys. It's surgery day. Oh my gosh. I'm super nervous. Trying not to be down. Um, I don't know if I said it in the last video, but you cannot eat anything past 9 o'clock. Eat or drink. Duran told me to take my thyroid pill this morning like normal. She said, you take like the little sip of water. She said, but try like without. Um, and then the night before, um, I, you have to wash yourself with the HIPAA cleanse, the antiseptic skin cleanser. Um, and then the morning of, which I'm about to do right now. I'm about to wash my hair, wash my body. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I packed. I have my little overnight bag right here. And I'm going to show you my outfit for surgery and what I'm bringing with me. And also, um, my overnight nurse, um, the owner from here had, um, given me her girl's number. So, she's gonna be meeting me at the clinic around 7. So, yeah, I do have an overnight nurse. I heard girls saying that Duran, like, provides one now, like, with your quote, but I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys what I back. First thing, I got my poppy, um... I showed you guys in the last video Natalie Bobby pillows. Um, they're here in DR. They have these. They have back, um, like back pillows, neck pillows, and then like um, BBL pillows, which I think I actually might get one of those too. Um, then I'm wearing this complete button down gown. Well, it's not a gown, it's like a dress. I got it from Fashion Nova. Highly recommend these. I'm wearing my bra, some underwear. I'm bringing my extension cord, my charger, and then this is the bag I'm bringing. I'm bringing the Tylenol PM, gloves, wipes, water wipes, gloves, my safe, which has my surgery money and the overnight nurse money, back scratcher. I have another dress in here, just in case. My tank top my robe and then a bunch of pads and then the chucks pads and then my results from yesterday i have some snacks in this back pocket for after i get from surgery i put my stool softener powder in there too and then i have my admin pump my ear pods my chapstick and my eyelash booty so that's it Alright guys, we look at my post-op body one more time. Hold up. So it hurts. Yeah. Alright guys, my driver is already here. This is the fit. I'm so nervous. Alright guys, so when you come in the door right there, this is like the reception area. And then this is Drew's office right here. And then you go down there. But yeah, I'm ready. Here a little early, but I'm 
all right guys this was the surgery day fit which didn't happen which i'm gonna explain to you guys right now but i'm sad but everything happens for a reason so it's okay but hopefully my surgery will be tomorrow good morning guys so i feel like I'm, this recording is like all over again it's crazy so um my surgery um i didn't really make a video yesterday so i do need to update you guys a little bit but um i wasn't able to get my surgery because they didn't have my blood because i'm a negative so they had to find it so she told me that yesterday my surgery would either be today which is wednesday or thursday and then when i got back to my recovery house she had called me and confirmed it would be for thursday so now it's wednesday morning i was like making plans to just hang out today and she just called me it's around seven in the morning and she's like hey i found your blood do you want to come in today so now i'm like scrambling to get everything ready i had to call my overnight nurse see if she could come we're trying to call the driver so i'm gonna take my shower with the antiseptic soap um and start getting ready oh my god let's see what happens Okay, so this is the second floor behind that desk is where the nurses stay overnight um and then up here is where you get your anesthesia and take the blue pill and get ready for surgery all right guys i was brought into this room castro actually marked me up so i guess this is where i'm gonna wake up from and there's a bathroom in here but yeah um just marked me up so actually one thing i forgot to add in is that i actually woke up during my surgery three times so this is one thing i was like so scared about i hear people talking about waking up during the surgery all the time and i was like freaking out whenever i heard that i was like what so i first woke up during my surgery i was face down and they were doing my light bulb on my back so you don't feel pain or anything you just feel like them going back and forth and they were doing my upper back so i f felt that and i don't think they noticed i was up because i was face down um i was just listening to everyone talking in the room i don't really know what they were saying because i was pretty out of it i just heard talking um then i heard duran say okay now we need to flip her and i felt everyone flipped me i think there was like four people in there that flipped me then they noticed I was awake so I saw them with like a syringe full I'm pretty sure of more anesthesia and I think they put it in my um you know my IV knocked back out then I woke up again um and I heard um Duran saying like okay she's almost finished and I felt them like I just felt the tugging on my um tummy tuck scar so at first i thought it was mu maybe their muscle repair but it had to have been uh it had to have been the scar because she was like okay she's almost done and then i like felt it still i was up a little and then i heard everyone saying okay you're done and then the nurses were looking at me and they're like how do you feel and i remember i think when i was getting wheeled out of the room i saw my skin on the table because i was like is that my skin and they were like yes um and that was it then i just remember waking up in the recovery room What's up guys? I'm out of surgery. I have my gown on. This is what they put you in to go into surgery. And then my um taped up under here. Um so guys Durandu Clinic is popping. Sorry my voice, but they keep they have their blankets. You don't need to bring one there. 
and nice thick ones. So perfect. This is um, monitoring my um, blood pressure, my oxygen, this is for the oxygen. And then the IV, I believe just for fluid. And they had to give me two blood bags. So I don't know how low I dropped, but Duran said I was bleeding um, a lot during surgery, but they did have both of my blood bags and I took both of those. So yeah, I'm gonna have more updates for you guys. I will definitely update you. Say cheese. <laughs> okay. So I know this video is dark, but I have my Oreos and my water. So I'm really happy I brought snacks because they don't have snacks there for you. So you will be hungry during the night. Yay! Ugh. Okay, so they just dropped off that little bag over there with my medicines. Mm -hmm. Yay. So this is the next morning they brought in my medicines and then they told my overnight nurse to get everything out um, because they were going to wash me up and put me in my stage one faha. All right guys, so in the clip that I just showed you, um, after, I get your, after you get your faha put on, they don't close your faha unless you didn't get a tummy tuck because a lot of, I think there was like three or four girls, three or four, two or three girls that day that um, only got lipo. And their fahas did get closed that morning um, for discharge. But the rest of us, you can see, mine is still open. Um, so, Castro told me, like, for five to seven days, you won't get any massages. And you won't close your faha because your tummy tuck scar needs to breathe. Um, but in the video, you see they did put some pads along the front of it. And then you get a lot of pads put on your back because you do also have a, you, a back drain and then the two drains in the front. Um, and the back one has been just leaking a lot. That's why you need the pad there. So it doesn't get all over you because the one in the front drains into that pouch. So. All right guys, so I just got up. They like washed me with my wipes um, and put me in my tank top and my stage one faha. Getting up was a little bit hard. I didn't get dizzy or anything like that though. You want to sit on the edge of the bed for like a minute or two and then stand up. It was just hard because I had muscle repair. So, um, but then when I stood up, they put my faha on and everything like that. Duran came in here and saw me. I took a picture of her. She's just, like so cute. Um, so she told me um, I was the most difficult patient of the day during surgery because I was overweight. And she told me when you know you're overweight everything like gets bigger like um even the veins inside of your body so when you lose weight those veins don't shrink back so my veins were really big and i was bleeding a lot she told me so she was like not rushing to do my surgery but just my blood was dropping so she was saying like when she did my last stitch on my tummy tuck like she was just so happy that everything was okay so i did get the pain pump guys i a thousand percent recommend it i swear to you every single nurse that have seen has seen me is like you're not in pain like you're not nauseous nothing and i'm like no like i don't know if it's because i have a high pain tolerance like i have two kids i did the gastric i broke my leg breaking my leg hurt more than this um i broke my femur and i had to get that there's a metal rod in my body but i'm doing good like the only thing that hurts, and it's not even that it hurts, is the muscle repair. It's very tight, but it just feels like you just worked out. Like, I literally scared myself for no reason. I was literally, like, asking everyone a million questions who had surgery already, like, in my recovery house. But, yeah, I'm just waiting now. I'm pretty much ready to go. They just have to take this IV out. Um, I'm pretty sure that's, like, my third bag up there. And I do have a catheter in, which I can't show you guys, but I'm waiting for them to take this out. And... The catheter and i love that she gave you a catheter because i know some girls after surgery have to get up to go to the bathroom like how do you get up in the middle of the night without the catheter because like i couldn't have imagined getting up last night so yeah as soon as i got in here they brought me in here and you just lay in the bed all night until the morning and then you start doing all that stuff um a lady also came in i showed you guys in the clip before I brought in my little goodie bag with all my little meds in there I'll show you guys that later in the car 
piano. Um, all that we're waiting for is someone in, just came in to take a little bit of blood from me to make sure my blood's at a good level and then I'll be discharged to go home. Um, but yeah, everything has been great here. I'm telling you guys, everyone is so nice. I am so happy Duran has her own clinic now. But I'll keep updating you guys as the day goes on. All right guys, so I just wanted to update you. Um, I keep getting a lot of the same questions. If, um, how did it feel coming out of surgery? Was I in pain and how did I sleep? Um, so I woke up, I felt great because you still have like anesthesia in your body. I did also get the pain pump. Um, and I slept good. My butt hurt a little bit, but just because it was sore from being on it for so many hours. But that was about it. Um, then the nurse came in use my wipes, clean me up, and then my faha on. So when I stood up to do that faha, everyone says like, do it slow because you get dizzy. I was standing, did the faha great. So then, just a little bit ago, then I take out my catheter and the thing out of my hand. Um, I was doing good, she took both out, but then I was like, I think I'm gonna just try to pee because you know, that sensation of it coming out made me feel like I had to pee. So I went, sat on the toilet backwards, that was good. But then when I got up, I was like, I don't want to sit back down because it kind of hurts with the muscle repair getting up out the seat. I'm like, I'm just going to stand and wait for the driver. Don't do that. Everything went blurry. I got really dizzy. Um, I felt the color leave from my face and I started sweating. That was horrible. So my nurse gave me a candy, gave me sweet juice. Better now. I have to eat a real meal. I didn't like the oatmeal that they brought in here, so... I only had like crackers. So when I get back to the recovery house, I have to eat something for sure. But my blood pressure dropped from an 100 to like an 80, so now I just have to stay a little longer. Um, but my sugar's good. Check my sugar again. So yeah, just a little update because that was scary. So this clip right here, I'm just showing you guys that I'm trying to get up. Um, I just walk around my room, walk around the top floor, and at the end, I turn around and I show you my drain because you want to make sure you have your drain clipped low. I see girls clip their drain high, and it, that's going to kind of prevent the fluid from coming out. You want to have it clipped as low as you can. All right, guys, so I wanted to do a quick little video on how to sleep. So thankfully, my recovery house has these wedges because you kind of want to sleep in like a V. So I put my little boppy pillow down there with one of these on because I'm leaking. Um, and then after I lay down, I'm going to put a bunch of pillows under my legs. And that's just to keep the pressure off your butt. All right, guys, story time. So this is, oh my gosh, I still have crumbs on me from eating breakfast. Yeah, this is obviously like the next day. I didn't record too much yesterday just because it was like a long crazy discharge day but yeah so before I was able to get just charged I was doing so good um but then I just stood up for too long and you know after laying in the bed like after surgery all those hours the next morning like and then just getting up it was not good so I had to get one more bag of blood they didn't charge it for me for that. Um, so, yeah, I did have three bags of blood. Maybe um, on Monday, which is my next appointment with them, with Duran and Castro. Maybe they'll charge me there. But when I was leaving, no one said anything about the extra bag of blood. Um, so, yeah, I had to get another bag of blood. Um, I was supposed to be discharged around 11. I wound up leaving around 3 30 and getting to my recovery house when i got back to the recovery house um as soon as i got here the nurses are just so attentive they helped me get upstairs real slow because you guys know i'm on the third floor so slow got up here no problems i was really scared to walk um when i was at the clinic i asked for a wheelchair to leave because i did not want that like to get all blurry again i was just like really scared of that happening and so when i got to the recovery house i was scared to get up 
um but it was all good got up the stairs no problem as soon as i sat down one of the nurses um rosa she started cleaning me up again she like took a bunch of blood clots were actually in my drain she emptied out my drain took all the blood clots out um and then gave me my blood thinner shot and it actually didn't hurt i was expecting it to hurt because if you guys watched my like um vsg weight loss surgery videos it, those medicines sting it's not the needle that hurts it's the medicine it stings like a bee but i don't know maybe i was still just have all the medicines in me so yeah after that um everything's been going good um i showed you guys the setup of the bed i actually did not wind up sleeping in the bed i slept here in the recliner this recliner is my best friend i have not slept with the poppy pillow under me probably should be but it just hurts my butt too much so probably today i'll start sitting on the boppy again but i was already just so uncom uncomfortable um my muscle repair is already starting to feel better it was so tight when i woke up out of surgery and all day yesterday but today it's feeling a lot better i don't know if you guys could hear i was a little sick remember i told you guys so i still have like some mucus in there and coughing <sighs> it hurts so but i have a lot of like phlegm coming up so it's just annoying me i can't like properly lay back without feeling i have to cough but today they're gonna rinse me up um another thing castro and them are so amazing like they've um came in to see me obviously before i discharged i saw duran twice before i left so as soon as i woke up from surgery she was in my room talking with me saw her quick there the next day during discharge after i had my fahan and everything on saw her again that's when i took my picture of her um also a little later on actually before i saw duran i saw castro um and she comes and gives you your paper with all your medicine um on it so i'll have to show you guys that still um and then when i left again i saw castro again and she gives you when you get to the office she gets your number and she will message you from their office they have like a whatsapp and she's been calling me um she called me this morning and asked how i'm doing um and she asked that every day you send her a picture of your stomach because they want to make sure that your stomach is healing good um so every day she <laughs> texted me and said make sure you send me a picture of your stomach and make sure you're drinking a lot of water she said make sure you're trying to walk around hunched over to protect your stomach and she said make sure you're protecting your glutes so yeah they've definitely been on it i'm not going to add her number on here so please don't ask they will give it to you when you're at the office i don't want to get in trouble for anything so she will give you the number when you come in for surgery and that's like direct contact with her um with castro so yeah they've been great and i'm so so happy with everything